Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. It's module seven of grade three. Get your name on first, please. And use at least two tan gram pieces to make and draw each of the following shapes. Draw lines to show where the tan gram pieces meet. So there's lots of different ways to do all of these. The answers I'm gonna have for all of this, they're not gonna be the only right answers. And hopefully you have a set, you have a, a printout of the tangram pieces at least. Maybe you have your own set. Uh, hopefully your teacher sent a, a, a tangram puzzle on a drawn on a piece of paper so you could cut out the pieces. And then that's the best way to do this is to just move the puzzle pieces around and solve the puzzle. Um, it's a lot harder if you're trying to uh, just imagine how they would look if you moved them around. Uh, so for a triangle for two pieces, uh, the first, like one of the easiest ways I thought of for doing this was taking the two small triangles and putting them together. Uh, so if you take one of the small triangles, I'm just going to sketch it here. And if you have the pieces and they're and they're not too large, you can actually use them and trace them. So we had the two small triangles, one like that, and then the other one could go here. So there's how the two small triangles can go together to make a big triangle. And now at least two pieces put together to make a square. Well, one of the pieces of the tangram puzzle is a square, but you have to use two pieces. So you can't add any of the other pieces to the square and just make it a bigger square. You'll make it into a different shape. And if you use all of the pieces, you can make a square. But that's unless you have the the puzzle, it's it's really difficult to do sometimes. But really, the I think the easiest way to do it is use the same small two small triangles. And if you just put the two because they're both right triangles. And if you put them so that the right angles are apart from each other, this is kind of a crooked looking drawing. But you end up with a square. Because when you put these two together, they make a right angle. Now the way I've drawn it, some people would call this a diamond, but you know what? It's a square. It's just turned on its corner. Uh, then a parallelogram. Well, they're one of the pieces is a parallelogram, but uh, not only that, um, you know, a square is a parallelogram, and so is a rectangle. So all you really have to do is make one of those shapes. I'm going to make a rectangle out of um, the two triangles and the parallelogram. So if I take one of the tri one of the small triangles and put it here, and then I take the parallelogram and put it here, and then I can take the other triangle like that. So there's the square corner there and the square corner there. And I have, now I have a rectangle and a rectangle is a parallelogram. And trapezoid, now we can use the square. Um, because if we, uh, if we want to make a trapezoid we could do that with a uh, triangle and uh, a triangle and a parallelogram that's one way to do it you can also do it with the square and one of the triangles and that's what I'm going to do square and one of the small right triangles there's your trapezoid Use your tangram pieces to create the cat below and draw lines to show where the tangram pieces meet. There's lots of puzzles like this for tangrams. It's really, it's a, 
really good uh, activity for all of your math. It really helps you with all of your math skills. And I know maybe you don't think it's going to help you add and subtract better or multiply or divide better. But this kind of stuff, it really is good for your math brain. So really, I strongly recommend take some time to try and figure this out for yourself. And uh, you, what you can do is, uh, while you're watching my video, you can pause it. If you need a clue, just pause it and watch the first few lines that I draw and then pause it again and then see if you can figure out the rest from there. And then you know, keep doing that. So like, if you give you really stuck, then uh, then that's what you can do. But here's my first hint is this part of the cat's head, use the square. And then you have the square and the two small triangles out of the way. Now there's other puzzles. Uh, there's lots of different ways to actually to make a cat. And this piece right here is just, this piece is just all it is. This is the parallelogram. And now one more hint. If you see this, that's one of the big triangles. And now there's just two pieces left that we haven't used yet. And here's and so here's where you use the last one the last two is this is the the big triangle the other big triangle and so not then that's where you and what you have left over is this part here in the middle that's the medium triangle and that's your solution I hope you had fun working on it uh, use the five smallest tan gram pieces to make a square. Sketch your square below and draw lines to show where the tan gram pieces meet. So we need a big square. And it says use the five smallest ones. So the five smallest pieces, you're going to need the square. You're going to need the two small right triangles. You're going to need, that's three of them. Then you're going to need um, the parallelogram. And then the medium triangle. It's everything except the two big, uh, everything except the two large triangles. One of the hardest uh, times I had trying to figure out the solution for this is where to put the square. And because uh, you remember the the whole the puzzle with the uh, with the two big triangles when you make the square out of that you put the two you, you make a, a a triangle like this out of all of the smaller pieces so like all of the smaller pieces here would take up one of those and there was just that so making the triangle we already know how to do that because we've seen that solution before but where do you put the square in this smaller triangle and th that was one of the things I had a hard time with. So you can pause it, and then we'll do it just like with the cat puzzle, and uh, you can see one hint at a time and try it from there. But here's where I put the square. If you want one more hint, once you know where, once you know where the uh, where the parallelogram goes then you'll have the whole thing figured out. It'll be pretty easy to go from there. But so without giving that up, I'm going to show you where to put one of the small right triangles. And if you put it here, 
Oops. If you put it here, now go ahead and pause it. And you still have the parallelogram, the medium triangle, and one of the small right triangles to figure out. Okay, and uh, so here's the rest of it. Once you see where to put the parallelogram, then you can figure out from here, you can pause it and figure out the last two pieces. You still have the medium triangle and the small triangle to fill in this space here. And this is how they go together. So there's your square with the five smallest pieces.